Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and for this Kung Fu Bench video, I have another combination for you. Now, this involves circling the bench, and we're going to do it in moving forward using a hook, and then we're going to circle and jump backward. This is really developing a lot of coordination, but it also uses the legs of the bench to block, to come across and block as you circle around followed by an uppercut or a hook. And then again, as we jump back, using the legs to block. So if you pay attention to using the legs to block and then using the, the very bottom end of the legs to actually strike, you will have a good setup for this basic technique. Let's go get to work. All right, so for this technique, we are going to have the hands in the same position, gripping the bench. This involves um, circling and if you look back at the fundamental techniques, you'll see in the hook and the uppercut video that I mentioned starting getting used to maybe circling the bench as you bring it around. We are going to do that, but it's more than just circling. We're using the bench itself to block. So I want to think of using the leg itself to block a low strike out of the way. And then as I come back, I'm going to use again the leg of the bench to block again, and then I'll follow up with my technique. Okay, so we're going to start from a square horse position. Block first, then cross in front of the foot. Bring the bench over, step forward, and then scoop up. Okay, again, we have to block first, whip those legs forward, Come all the way over as you step, and then step one more time for that uppercut. We can also use this, we can substitute after our block and step, we can come across with our hook as well. Okay, so again, block, step, scoop. Okay, now we're going to circle back again using a block to retreat. So from this position, as I step back, I want to Get my foot out of the way in case I don't get there in time with the bench to block. I want to move my leg and then again block with the legs down, bring it over, and then on this one we're going to actually take the bench and slam it down. Okay? So again from here, I want to step out of the way in front of my other foot, block down, and then slam the bench downward. Okay? Now, from the side, I step in front, over, down. Okay, from there, I can circle, step, up, and then again, step, circle, down. Circle, step, up, step, circle, down. So you can continually go forward and backward. All right, so there you have it. This one involves a lot of jumping. You can switch sides. I highly suggest that you can do this on both sides. The nice thing about the horse bench is it can be done um, as an ambidextrous form. It can be done left and right side without having to change your grip on the weapon itself. So get this one down. You can tie it together with some of the other techniques that I've already put up online. And again, if you have any questions about any of the fundamentals that go into this technique, check back on some of my other videos. Keep training, and I'll see you guys next time. Bam! Fist with a foe out!